Hi, Buck. Here he comes. Come on, big boy. I got peanuts, apples. Whatever you want, Buck. Oh, not well, what you usually want. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, big boy. It's okay. It's nothing. It's nothing. Nobody's out. It's just me and you. It's okay. It's okay. He's so funny. I told you it's okay. You like the peanuts? These are not the mixed peanuts. I actually do have two mixed peanuts in here. A regular peanuts, but like mixed. One's a roasted and one is lightly sea salted. So he can have a little bit of flavors. He gets like plain and some flavor. I see so some type of flavor. I'm not gonna get the salted ones all the time because I feel like too much salt every day is no good. If it's not good for us people, I'm sure it's not good for him. So my husband said he wants me, I should like slap. I'm gonna like just take it a little light layer with the salty stuff, right, Buck? We gotta get no salt. So I don't wanna give him like salty stuff every day. I mean, the mixed peanuts that I gave him yesterday, those were actually not, they were not salted. But that was good, right? Because you don't have salt every day. It's no good. No good, Buck. Hey, my big boy. What happened? Were you on your apples? You want your apples? Yeah. You want your apples? Okay, hold on. I'll throw the peanuts there. They're right here. Yeah. Once I showed him the bowl, he's like, oh, wow. He's like, there they are. I actually have my PJs on right now. But once I'm done with outside, from being outside, what I usually do is I, like, first I check myself before I go inside the house, make sure there's no tits on me, nothing. And then when I get inside the house, I change my pants, like, right? I'm gonna put on a pair of pants, just in case, but I think I'd have been lucky, like, with my end, on my part. This poor boy, he hasn't been lucky, right? You just have that one tip behind your ear and that's it. Oh, I give you a seat. All right, Buck, you just have that one tick. I actually don't know if it's still there. I can't see it. I know one of his ears are good. I don't see no ticks. What? What did he see? What happened, Buck? What happened? I don't know what he's seeing. Why'd you get scared? Come here, you made me jump. Why'd you get scared? Who was behind us? There's nobody there. He made me jump. I was like, what the hell did he see? Obviously it's not that cat and it's walking behind us. I don't see nothing. You want to smile? It's okay, baby. It's okay. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, my big boy. It's okay. He came back. I don't know what that was, why he got scared. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there was a bird that flew by us and I didn't see it and he did. I don't know. Something made him jump. I know it wasn't me. I didn't do anything different, like, you know. Somebody, I smell burning wood. Is that what you smell? Maybe? Like somebody's burning something back, right? Something smells like it's on fire. I don't know if it's a good smell or a bad smell. I can't tell. Is that what you smelled, baby? Is that what you smelled? Did that scare you? You smell it? I just don't know where it's coming from. I smell it. Like I smell like, I don't know, like something is burning. I wonder if that's what he smelled and he got nervous. Is that what you smelled, baby? Did you smell something burning? I smell something burning. I don't know where it's coming from, but. I 
Maybe there's people cut in like trees or something because I feel like I smell like tree dust. Like, I don't know. There is a smell in the air right now that's like, it smells like burn, like something is burning. It's weird. That is weird, Buck, right? Where's it coming from? Unless somebody's burning wood. Somebody burning wood, my big boy. Is somebody burning wood? I don't know. I smell good too. I wonder if that's what made him like jump, like get nervous. I don't know. It was like a different smell maybe in the air and he was like, what the hell's that? Ooh, I have a question. I know you guys are probably gonna laugh at me. <laughs> I was just wondering, do ticks jump or do they fly? Like I have to like look into that because I was wondering about that. If like ticks could fly or are they like ants like you know they just crawl around places and they just jump like a grasshopper or something like i was wondering i wonder how like i gotta look into it all right but you see how when he got scared i told him it's okay and then he came back and then he came back my big boy you came back. You got scared. Did you burp? Sound like you burped. And I just fed him three apples this morning. Because I've been like full stocked. What happened? Or maybe he doesn't want me touching the front of his face. It's okay. You okay? Oh my god. I think before. Okay, now I just know what just happened just now. One of his whiskers got stuck in between my fingers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that what happened? Because that's what I felt. I felt one of his whiskers in between my fingers. Probably with the stickiness from the apple, it like got stuck. That's why he did that. Right? My big boy. Go eat peanuts, Buck. You got peanuts. Remember what happens. If you don't eat them, we know who's going to eat them. You have peanuts, Buck. You want them more? And if they were the mixed ones, oh, forget it. He would have devoured them by now. With these type of peanuts, like regular peanuts, he takes his time with. Like he'll nibble here and there and he'll probably leave a few. Ooh, there's a worm right in front of me. The hell? Hold on, guys. There's like some spider looking thing. And why is it like, it looks like it's... Oh, where did it go? The hell was that? Oh, that was so nasty. Fuck, there was like a floating spider bug. <laughs> it looked like a floating, like literally it was on a string. It looked like a spider. And it looked red too. Oh, I gotta shake my head off when I'm done with the video. I'm gonna shake myself like a dog. <laughs> for real, for real. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry guys if I'm moving the phone. So I just see in this like floating spider bug and it looked red too and it was like on a string hanging and it kept like coming towards me i started swapping it but i don't know if i got it i don't know if it's on me i'll check after it's okay i'm not gonna freak out because i know me if i freak out i'm gonna probably freak him out because i'm telling you you would never believe that i'm like a person that's like very scared and pet peeve of like bugs i hate bugs Especially spiders and things like that. I hate it. Like that day when I pulled that tick off of his eye, trust me, it took a lot of courage for me to do that. Like I kept myself calm and I was like, okay, I could do it. I could do it. Usually I can't pick ticks with my fingers, bare hands. Like I usually need like a tweezer or like something, you know, like a napkin, something. That day when I took that tick off of his face, I literally like... I was proud of myself that day. I was like, wow, I didn't think I had it in me to do that, you know? When I told my husband about it, he was like, oh, that's gross. I was like, babe, listen, he was right up all up in my face that day. I was like, what was I gonna do? Like leave that tick on his, by his eye? I couldn't do that. No way, I could not do that. I was like, I had to help him. I wonder if the tick off, oh no, it didn't fall off his ear, it's still on his ear, I see it. I see it. Yeah, it's still on his ear. Yeah, man, there's a tick that's holding on so, like, long. God, it's been on him already for, like, a week. Literally a week, or maybe even more, who knows. 
Oh my God, how cute is this? Look who came by and is filling up his cheeks. Oh, how cute. Oh, he is so cute, he or she. It's filling up the cheeks. Go, Alvin. There you go. Okay. That's why I told him. I said, you don't start eating your peanuts. Everybody else is going to eat it. And watch, now he's going to go and eat some. Now you want them? <laughs> you always want them when everybody else wants them. <laughs> That's the only time he wants his peanuts. When everybody else wants his peanuts, he's like, okay, now I want them. I got to actually spray this. I have to have my husband spray this whole area, like over here and a little bit on that side too with the tick and flea stuff. I gotta tell my husband, because we have the bottle. Just at least it protects, like, you know, somewhat of the area here. I know it's not gonna do much, much, because it's so big in there, and God knows how much ticks is in there. Who knows? But I'm sure they're gonna cut, the ticks are gonna come on my side too, because look, the dirt, like, you know, it's like right here. So I definitely, we have to spray it with the medicine. Right, Buck? We gotta put the ticket flea medicine uh, washy thing over here on the ground. I gotta do it a day when he's done eating that he walks away. <laughs> but I, well, once my husband even walks up to the spot, he would run. Not that he would run, but if my husband has a holes in his hand, he starts spraying, let's say, so he would run. Right, Buck? You wouldn't stand there. I know you. I know you, my big boy. Oh, Alvin came back. Oh, he grabbed more peanuts. The chickmunk is smart. He's gonna smart. <laughs> he keeps running. The chickmunk, it lives somewhere inside there, like underneath the dirt somewhere. He keeps coming out, running in between the tree, grabbing some peanuts, filling up his cheeks, and running back. And Buck doesn't even care. But I notice Buck cares, like if the bunnies, the squirrels, if they start grabbing like the bread and other stuff I throw, this one starts walking over and tries to eat everything. That's what he's doing now. He's eating like whatever corn he finds, peanuts I flung. Because I flung some peanuts. Before he came up to the spot, I actually threw some peanuts on the ground. So I figure the birds and everybody else, the squirrels, they're all going to want some. The chipmunk didn't come back yet. I'm looking. It's so beautiful out today. Really nice. Today's a nice day. Right, Buck? It is such a beautiful day, my big boy. This is this morning he got startled. I don't know, what the hell? I'm, see like now I don't smell it no more. Maybe somebody was burning wood earlier. That's what it has to be because I don't smell it no more now that burning smell that I was smelling earlier. And I really do believe that startled him. He must have smelled the air and got nervous maybe. Cause I smelled burning wood before, like something was burning. And that's when I noticed he was acting like nervous. Like he was kind of nervous. But now he's calmer. He calmed down now. Now you calm down, my big boy. It's okay. But if God forbid there was a fire in here, I will grab my hose <laughs> from over there and just start spraying like but I usually, when I water in here, I do it on purpose and I always throw the water down there too. I try to make my holes like reach down there and I just like spray all in there to try to get the trees and everything watered in there. So everything keeps growing nicely so he could have food sources and stuff, you know? Right, big boy? That's why I try, try to take care of all the nature stuff out here. Right? Make sure everything is good. Yesterday I had the birds hanging out with me, the bunny. The chickmunk is the only one I didn't see yesterday. Now the chickmunk came. It's funny this morning. Right, Buck? My big boy. This is my big boy. And he's gonna clean himself. No, the chickmunk didn't come back. I gotta go to the supermarket. Right, Buck? Then we get this big boy apples. Oh, there's a blue jay close by.
This is hanging out. I'm sure right now he must feel good after eating and like just now he's like oh you feel good buck? You nice and full? I haven't seen the red corner roll today. I mean it's only morning. Maybe later it'll pop up because there's a red corner roll that's been popping up. But this morning I didn't really have to like scream his name because he was close by. So maybe that's why. Usually around dinner time sometimes I have to call him. So maybe for dinner time when I call him, then that red bird will come. The squirrel friend. He decided to show up. Yep, breakfast is ready. <laughs> oh, look who's over here. There you go. There you go. That's a blue jay. See, we got everybody hanging out with us this morning. Everybody's coming around. And that one, he's getting courage to stand close to Buck now. It's so cute. Because I remember the squirrels, they used to be like really afraid of Buck when Buck used to walk up to the spot. But now they're starting to like realize that he's a Buck is just a big mush. He's a big mush. Right, Buck? You're just a big mush? Hey, my big boy. You're just a big mush. That was cute, the little, the blue jay. The blue jay's been hanging out with us too in the morning, like, and throughout the day, like I see the blue jay coming. Oh my God, the squirrel was sitting on the log, right there, it was. So cute. See, and then they gotta ruin it. Like, it'll be so nice and peaceful outside. Like, when they start their work at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so. <laughs> but I don't blame them because they're probably like, they want to get it done, you know? In the morning, usually. Hi, Buck. But he don't care about that because that's not close by. So he knows that's not coming anywhere close, close. Too close. That's like a couple of doors. You know, four holes. Two or three doors away. Now the bees are out. I just seen a bee. Flies, everybody came out. Everybody's awake. Everybody woke up. But I'm gonna start getting going. Oh, there's a squirrel running around. It's okay, Buck. That's what the heck? Are you kidding me? Look who's joining us. Are you kidding me? This one's joining us too now. Now we got a groundhog. We'll name you George. George the groundhog. George, you wanna be part of too? You wanna be part of the crew? All right, we'll name you. You'll be George the groundhog. Okay, George? It's okay. It's okay. So now we got two hanging out with us. Where's the squirrel? Now we got George the groundhog, Buck, I named the squirrel Snippy, don't ask me why, but it was a name. Oh, this Blue Jay, I'm about to name him too. I gotta give you a name too. Blue Jay, what can we name you? Oh, oh. there goes the groundhog, it ran. That groundhog is gonna get scared. Until he figures out that, you know, none of us are gonna hurt him, then he'll probably hang out and stay there. He ran off. Oh my God. I was about to end the video and out of nowhere, I just seen him pop up <laughs> with the corner of my eye as I had the camera on Buck. I was like, wait a second, what's that big thing coming? And then when I went to go look, it's a groundhog. Oh, that is so funny. Everybody wants to be with, hang out with us this morning. Wow, Buck. Everybody wants to hang out with you, big boy. I'm assuming the animals like my voice in this forest because when I talk, I notice all of them come. It's cute. Well, I like listening to them sing, so if they like me, that's, a, that's awesome. All right, guys, I gotta go. I actually gotta go food shopping. I'll be back later for Buck's dinner time. This is gonna be a really long video that I didn't even know, honestly, that I was going this long, but it's okay. Sometimes it's good to like send out like a nice big video. For the people that just wanna see clips, you guys go scroll through it. For the ones that don't, you guys go watch it. All right. Ciao for now, 
And me and Buck will be back later for dinner time. He's actually listening to me right now. So cute. We're not anymore. All right. We'll be back later. Ciao.